And good afternoon. We'll start with some breaking news coming in where the Afghan ambassador to India has blamed elements from across Afghanistan border for the terrorist activities in the country, including the recent attack on the Indian embassy in Kabul. Speaking exclusively to Times Now, senior editor Srinjoy Chaudhary, New Delhi, Saeed Magdoom Rahin said that the terrorist elements in Afghanistan were being funded and trained in camps across the Afghan border, thus making an indirect reference to Pakistan. When pressed further to elaborate on Pakistan's role, the ambassador again subtly said, that uh, and laid the blame on Islamabad by saying that the root cause of all the trouble in Afghanistan was across uh, the eastern border. And in a reply, in fact, to the question that the Harika Taliban, uh, the, the Lashkar e Toiba, the ambassador said that the uh, Al Qaeda, the Taliban, and Lashkar and such similar groups were all linked to each other. Your government has said that this attack was planned across the border. Clearly, uh, there seems to be a linkage between the Taliban in Afghanistan and terrorists who are across the border in Pakistan. So, you know, their bases uh, are located outside Afghanistan and uh, they get trained, financed and armed and then come into Afghanistan. And uh, I hope those bases get closed and then uh, that with the problem only by closing those bases uh, outside Afghanistan the problem will be solved. Do you see rogue elements of neighboring states that are responsible for fueling and stoking the fires of terrorism in Afghanistan and affecting <coughs> India also? No, I don't have that kind of information but only I can see and I know that uh, the basis of uh, uh, this terrorism acts uh, and the, the, its sources are outside Afghanistan. Financing, training, uh, all of this comes from these bases. And uh, I hope those bases get closed. And Srinjoy Chaudhary is now with us on the phone line. Srinjoy, another strong hint uh, here that the non-state actors operating on the park soil are behind the latest attack. Yes, absolutely. As the Afghan ambassador, Mr. Rahin, has said, and as the foreign ministry spokesman of Afghanistan has said, and the Indian government has been saying all along that there are these militant terrorist camps along the Durand line on the Pakistani side. And once uh, these uh, terrorists, the Al-Qaeda, uh, the Taliban, uh, finish their operations against NATO forces or other forces, the Afghan uh, forces in Afghanistan, they come back to the Pakistani side where they take shelter. Sometimes, as the um, um, ambassador said, there's training, there's financing, there is shelter, of course. Uh, that is what is keeping the insurgency in Afghanistan going. If these camps were closed, no one is saying they should, even if they were not eliminated, but just closed, then the insurgency sure. in Afghanistan would end in about three months. Right. Now, uh, Srinjar, during your conversation, did uh, Ambassador Rahin had in any way hint that, uh, you know, this attack could have been backed by the ISI? Because, you know, that's what we've been maintaining right here on Times now. Well, as far as the ISI is concerned, the earlier attack was certainly backed by the ISI. Everyone uh, in the Indian government has concluded that it was backed by the ISI. There is conclusive proof of it. As far as this is concerned, investigations even on the Indian side and the Afghanistan side are still going on. There is a finger of suspicion at the Haqqani and some independent Taliban commanders, many of whom have links with the ISI. But as far as the ISI directly uh, being involved in this operation, it is not known as yes. It is possible, certainly, but as, uh, as of now, uh, the evidence isn't there as yet. All right, uh, Srinjor, thanks uh, for joining in.